productivity refers to the efficiency of the production system. It is the concept that guides the management of the production system. It is an indicator of how well the factors of production, land, capital, labor and energy, are utilized. In this video we will look into the productivity measurement models. Let's start by discussing about the Craig and Harris model of productivity. The Craig and Harris model points out the inadequacy of partial productivity measure. It is also called as service flow model because physical inputs are converted into rupees that are payments for services provided by inputs. Productivity is viewed as the efficiency of the conversion process. According to this model, total productivity is expressed as total productivity, P, equals to, output, O, divided by the summation of labor input factor L, capital input factor C, raw materials and purchased parts R, and other miscellaneous, goods and services Q. After that, let's discuss about the Taylor-Davis model. In the Taylor-Davis model, in contrary to Craig and Hauer's total productivity model, they defined a total factor productivity model. According to Taylor-Davis model, total factor productivity TFP, equals to, net sales adjusted, S, plus, inventory charge C, including raw materials, finished goods and work in process, plus, manufacturing plant, unsaleable products like jigs and fixtures, expressed as MP, minus, the exclusions including materials and services purchased from outside plus depreciation of buildings plus plant plus equipment plus rentals etc., expressed as E, and then dividing all of it by the summation of wages and salary, expressed as W, other benefits expressed as B, and working capital plus fixed capital, multiplied by the product of the percentage of investors' contribution and price deflator. In this Taylor-Davis model, the raw material was not considered as input on the basis that raw material is the result of some other labor and effort. And the third productivity model is APC model. The American Productivity Center, in short, APC, has developed a comprehensive measure which distinguishes among profitability, price recovery and productivity. It can be utilized to measure productivity changes in labor, materials, energy and capital. It also measures the corresponding effect each one has on profitability. APC model is based on the premise that profitability is a function of productivity and price recovery. Productivity relates to quantities of output and quantities of inputs, while price recovery relates to the price of output and costs of inputs. Price recovery can be thought of as the degree to which input cost increases are passed on to the customers in the form of higher output price. The relationship between productivity, profitability and price recovery are represented as Profitability, equals to, revenue, divided by cost. Revenue can be also written as the product of output quantities and sales price. The cost can be also written as the product of input quantities and unit cost. If we rearrange them, we get the ratio of output quantities to input quantities which is actually the productivity, and we also get the ratio of sales price to unit cost, which is actually the price recovery. So, finally, we get that profitability is equal to the product of productivity and price recovery. The APC model compares data from one base period with the data from the current period. So, we have discussed about the three different productivity measurement models. Thank you.